Alrighty guys, so uh, I wanted to make this video so that y'all could uh, see me do a winter, midwinter cleanup. Uh, I have a couple tips and tricks for you. Uh, the first tip is to use the small blower. I have the little 125B by Husqvarna here. Great little blower. Uh, I use it to uh, do this kind of work so I can get in the flower beds and get between all the bushes and all the little hard places that you really couldn't with a big backpack blower. Um, power isn't what I need to go for. So we're going to do a little cold start. Um, I'm using the uh, Echo Power Fuel right now uh, just because that's what I use in winter just so I don't have to make mix a big can just for it to go bad. So here uh, we're going to be kind of going through some little leaves right back there behind those azaleas and around these rose bushes. Uh, be careful of thorns. Uh, I got hit a couple of times and it hurt. You can see I have gloves just around these uh, rose bushes on just to protect my hands. It was kind of cold this day so the rest of my body was covered up. Uh, it was about 45 degrees this day which is actually pretty cold for this area of Texas during the day. So uh, now we're kind of getting into the uh, heavier stuff. Uh, one thing to uh, note is don't blow away any of the mulch, just the leaves. Uh, that's very important this time of year. Uh, it's something I've kind of figured out over the years. Don't blow away the mulch. Don't get rid of it before the winter. Because if you have a deep freeze and your soil freezes, some of your uh, plants could be really uh, damaged in the roots and might not come back in the spring. So leave the mulch on there and that will really help uh, kind of insulate the roots and you'll have much better results for them coming back in the spring. So again, watch out for thorns here. Uh, you can see me kind of protecting my hand. Uh, I forgot to keep the glove on while I was doing around these uh, little citrus trees that have thorns. And uh, here, pine needles are a little bit different. A lot of times they get kind of tangled around uh, your plants or uh, there I have a uh, bird feeding pole. Uh, so just if you need to reach around and kind of dig those out with your hands, not that big of a deal. And here you see uh, the little pile there. Go ahead. What I did is I, I got a rake out. Uh, it was in a kind of an awkward area that I couldn't get with the blower without blowing it everywhere. So get out the rake and while you have the rake out, any other piles that you have around the yard, go ahead and spread out just so your mower is having a little bit of an easier job. Uh, here we have Echo PA, or no, SRM 230, my bad, um, great trimmer, has a lot of power, and uh, I'm just kind of cleaning up all the little edges, getting any weeks, weeds in the cracks. Here again, any weeds in the cracks that you want to get, you um, might see here while I'm edging. I kind of go back over the same place a couple times. No big deal. Uh, just want to make it look your best. And here in between all the bushes and stuff, go ahead and uh, get any weeds that are in there. One other thing, uh, not everywhere you need to trim this time of year because the grass doesn't grow. Here I don't have any weeds. I don't really have any grass growing, but there are leaves. See, I'm kicking up leaves there. Go ahead and uh, use the trimmer to get out any leaves that you don't want to get with the blower. There, just another pass with the blower. And see that gap I'm walking in? Go ahead and make that with the blower just so that uh, any leaves that you have next to the flower bed don't get blown back into the flower bed with the mower. That's a trick I've learned over the past few years. So that's just another tip. So here comes uh, the good part, me mowing. Uh, I already had done probably about half the backyard. I just have this main area to go over, so uh, you're going to see me switch to mulch. I do that when I go over heavier areas of leaves, just to kind of break them down a little bit more, so I don't have to uh, empty the bag as much as I would had I just went ahead and bagged it. Yeah, there, I switch it all the way to mulch, rather than what I had out on leaf shredder before. I was just trying to figure out how I did things in the past that worked out. These Honda mowers, you'll see me mulching. Uh, I mean, it doesn't do a perfect job mulching, but you can expect it. I wish I could show you a little bit better 
uh, just exactly how many leaves and the volume of leaves I had in the grass uh, because the job that this Honda mower did just mulching it was absolutely phenomenal considering how much there actually was. Another little tip, a lot of you probably already know this one, uh, the little bag that I have there to the left that's inside the trash can, really important to have the trash can, it makes things a lot easier when uh, emptying the bag out. And here we go, we're going to switch the mower back into uh, where it's bagging. You can see that big cloud of dust comes out. It's kind of cool how the air just kind of pops into the bag like that. But uh, you're going to see just the Honda leaves a really nice clean cut with uh, hardly any leaves. You're not going to get every single one. Uh, you know, a lot of them get buried down where they don't get hit by the blade or don't get sucked up. And it's really not a big deal. Um, nobody's going to expect it to be perfect. We had a party this night. This was actually New Year's Eve day. Well, yeah, the day during New Year's Eve. Um, and we had a party, and there were a few more leaves on the ground just because I have that pear tree back there. Most of these leaves came from, and uh, it's going to drop a few more. Uh, we're not going to, not until the spring is when we're going to be worried about that. I could skip through this, but I know a lot of you want to see this. It's kind of the uh, end the season for a lot of y'all up in the north. A lot of y'all have snow on the ground right now. I'm really lucky that it's only about 50 degrees on this day. So uh, green grass is a pretty fresh sight for y'all. Go ahead and skip through a little bit, because I actually went ahead and triple cut this. I'm not exactly sure why, just something was going through my head that day that told me, ah, I need to triple cut it, but looking back, there was absolutely no difference between double cutting it and triple cutting it. So we're going ahead and just picking up these last few little bit of leaves, and then I'll show you some after pictures. Um, I want to say thank you for watching all my videos. Uh, a lot of y'all have supported me through these past few years. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, I hope all of y'all have a happy new year, and I hope that this video uh, was useful to some of you guys. So, thanks for watching.